Hi everybody, hey, it's Lisa here from Lisa Press Creations, and I have a journal flip through for you. This is my beautiful blue journal that I've been working on for a little while here. It is a two signature. It has, oh, where's my notes? It has 106 pages. I'm calling this Ladies in Blue, because there's some Victorian looking ladies in here that have, that's in blue, and I, I just, it's been a while since I've done a blue journal, so I decided to go ahead and do that today to show you, do this flip through. Like I said, two signatures. It measures um, approximately four and three fourths by seven and a half, but it's a little shorter than seven and a half, so when I measured it. So, but anyway, um, here it is. Uh, I gutted out this book, this old, old, old book, and it's got a very nice texture to this. Um, so I did not cover the back, but I did cover the front of it. I, like, I really like this image here. That's here. And then it's called A Crooked Path. And uh, this, it was mainly a book that I got that I tore out the old pages in because it's got these really, really old, old um, dark looking pages in it and it was very beautiful so anyway so uh, as you can see we have metal corners like I always put on my books and just a lot of lace and a lot of different things in here and it's got a this um, sorry silk uh, sorry silk trim here for the uh, closure so anyway let's go I'm just gonna open this up and show you guys what I come up with so here it is Okay, the first page, uh, I put a little bit of lace here to do a little side tuck there. Um, here I put uh, a little journaling card here that I used as a pocket and put a doily here, mini doily. Here's a lovely lady <coughs> and a beautiful metal um, butterfly there. That is a tag. Here is a postcard, old postcard, and then this this um, opens up for some reading space here. Tea dyed paper. I got some poem pages in here. Got geometry paper. We got another old postcard. I think German with a pocket. And this is another pocket here. Let me get a, a bookmark so I can show you guys. Okay. And here is a little page. I just put like a little bit of mini trim there. I thought that was kind of pretty and I actually punched, punched uh, some lace there. My paper punch. Home pages. Different different pages in here. Here is a little pocket, a lace with lace behind it. Here's like a, a lace pocket here. There's a tag. And here's also a little pocket here. And then this is a little pocket here. And this actually wraps all the way around. Oh no, I guess it doesn't. Oh, I thought it did. Yeah. It's just a little pocket there. And then this is also a little, a little spot there. And we have a lace a little pocket there and some of these journaling cards here. It's got a little bit of a butterfly theme in it, a little bit. Some ledger paper. Complete paper. Here it is. A beautiful image I took out of a botanical book. I put this little flower there. And then this opens up to the center of the first signature, and it's just a beautiful lady I thought was really pretty to put in there. Let's get the side of that page. And I put some music paper and Jane Austen uh, po faux postcard. This is also a little spot here where you could put a tag or something. I did not put anything in there. Here's um, a page I got from a book called What is a Beautiful Woman? And I thought that was a beautiful image to put there. A little faux postcard and just a little doily pocket. You could put things in there if you'd like. And I just kind of stuck this here back in here. That. 
think there's another little page. I just thought this page came out really pretty. I know there's a glare on these on this a sec because I put on some silver paper these images that I copied on some silver paper. Um, here is a tag. I made these really cute little tag toppers and I might do a video on, on making those. Those are really easy to do and they can put them on top of your tags. I'm going to put some lace and some other things here. Home pages. Different things here. I love this little child. He looks like my grandson. He's so cute. And here's a little journaling card. Geometry tree paper. Is, I was kind of going with the browns, brown and in and, and blues in this journal. And so some of the pages are kind of brown and some aren't. So, okay. Anyway, this is a little tag and one of those, oh, what's it? Like a journaling card, Home Sweet Home. But the colors match pretty good there. And then this is a little, put a little um, cluster there. And then this opens up and it's just like a, some little, little papers all put together like that and then this is a little pocket there and then this opens up and then I used um, some of this dotted uh, piece of um, this was actually some fabric that was off of a shirt that I got and I thought it was it would look really cool in these journals so I kind of cut it this way to look at as a make it into a tuck uh, like a corner tuck spot there's some really beautiful journaling cards I thought was that's really nice there. Um, here is another page with some lace on the side. It is a little, little place to do some journaling in there. That just fits in this pocket here. And then here's another tag that I put uh, like a paper topper on here. That's my book pages. And just put like a little hole there for just a decoration there. And this is also a pocket here and here. So on this page, uh, I put a little a little tuck spot here. And this is also a pocket and a tuck spot. And this is just a little tag I made. It's more of that silver advertisement on some silver paper. And on this page, I put a really cute row of this lace and it looks like buttons that was really pretty down there a doily here's another one of those lovely ladies and another postcard faux postcard lace on the side here is another little lady happy lady and she's reading there's another and opens up for journaling and also this is also a tuck spot here and behind here is a tag and I, I used a part of a doily on that for the topper of that tag Papers. I like. I really thought this was pretty. I really like the, the lace that I put on the side of this, and it. I used a, um, a piece of scrap paper and I kind of cut the edges, and then I just glued this beautiful lace on the top of here and put in this beautiful, beautiful lady. I love her dress. That is so pretty, and that just goes in there. And then I also put another part of that doily. This was actually part of this this shirt that I got. This was actually part of it, and it had had some of these um, flowers on it. Let me show you real quick um, what I took it from. So this these are actually taken from this really this big piece of um, of this I got. This was part of that shirt, and I when I seen it, I was like, you know, it was two dollars for the shirt, and I thought I'm gonna get this because. I could really use the I could really use this in my journals and so this is what I come up with on that and uh, just trying to be really frugal 
I mean, you guys can be really frugal out there looking for different things to put in your journals. And so, uh, think, I just, um, probably things that people don't think about buying because they just go, oh, I don't know if I would, what I would do with this old shirt, you know, but you can take it apart and, and use it in your journals and that's what I do. So, um, here I put a little spot there, tuck spot with a little faux postcard with, made into a journaling card. And then I put lace on the edge of that on both sides. The reason why I, I put a cover the, this on the edge was because when I, the original paper here, when I cut it out, it cut off part of what was, part of what the words were on here. And so I needed to cover it with something. So I ended, ended up adding that on there for that reason. But this is also a spot there. That's what we do with journaling. Sometimes we make mistakes and then we change them. We fix them, you know. Here is a belly band with a little one of these tag kind of tag shaped writing space. Here's the center of the second signature and it's just some old advertisements of some ladies and things. Um, and I really like the lace so I just kind of put the lace on the edges so you could you know add things in here as you like. I didn't add anything to it. I couldn't think of what to put in it actually so I just left it kind of empty. Here is another lady with these this beautiful trim and another faux postcard with with the blue hydrangeas, which I love hydrangeas, and it just fits back here. Here's another side tuck with another tag, a corner topper there, another spot. Another open little lacy spot. Some ledger papers and different things here. Here is a pocket with some crochet doily pieces of it on there. Here is some little cards I put in here for a post card and a little advertisement. I made this little pocket and just kind of added some different things and put I sewed around the edge of it and stuff. So. And turn it over and a corner tuck with another one of these sober things and this is a little booklet get right in put that in there this was taken from a like a file file folders with some numbers on them not the number on there the letter on there here is a take this off put this little tag on there just clipped it on and then this is one of those things that flips up for like let's see if you could see okay for journaling spaces you could write in here whatever thought that looked kind of cool flipping up that way and then I put this on there just to hold that on there that card and then over on this side this is clipped on this side <clears throat> I thought that was really cute it's not maybe part of the theme really well but it's it has some blue in it, and I really liked it. And it's, it's a cat. These cats are really cute. I thought, well, I'm just going to put that in there. That's pretty cute. So I did put that in there. Put the part of that doily. Here's another. Here's a botanical page. Put some more up places. Love this image. And I didn't want to cover it up because I thought it was really pretty. And I'm not, you know what, you guys? I don't know exactly the names of these kits that I used. But these are kit pages that I used. I'll try, I'll try to list it in the bottom of the description if I remember. I'll try to list that there and so you guys can know what, what I used. For this page was, I got this out of my stash. I made a little journaling card. It just fits in there. And oh, I guess there's another one here I didn't realize I had. Oh, okay. I forgot this is like one of those dual pockets. So here's a little tag on the side. And on here. Fits on the side. And then this one tucks at the top. So it's a double, double pocket there. And here's the back page, and it's just the lace pocket on the other side, the same as the front. And that's the back. That's that textured. I didn't want to cover it because it's really it's old and textured. And I didn't put a doily on the edge like I usually do on these, on this one. I just kind of left it because I kind of liked what it looked like. And I put some little, just on the edges here, I put some little bits of lace there on that. So that is the journals. What do you guys think? This, this journal is now available in my Etsy shop. 
if you've seen the video all the way through, it is available in there. Also, I have another, another little thing added to my Etsy shop that my husband and I have decided to do. I'm going to start doing why I did my first attempt of making a digi kit, um, a digital kit at Christmas one. So if you get into my shop and you see that, um, I have a digital kit and it is a 10 page with 54 Christmas images that is also for sale. Um, and I'm trying to get that out, get the word out for that because I'm going to be starting a Christmas journal pretty soon. Anyway, I'm going to show you that really quick, the kit that's in there, the Christmas kit that I just put in there. And if you guys are interested, and this is called Vintage Christmas. And here is the kit that I just added. It's got 10 pages, like I said. Lots and lots of images that you could use in your journals. In fact, I'm going to be using these. I'm going to be using these in my next journal because I'm going to be making a Christmas journal. And I'm going to be using these and showing you guys step by step through my journal. I'm going to create it here. Do some videos creating it. And I'm going to be using these images right here from my new kit. Christmas vintage, vintage Christmas kit. And uh, we learned how to, to do the digitals. We're learning how. And also, as well as this kit, I have another one in the works too. And so I just want to try to, to do some of these and get some of these out. I thought this stocking was really cute. You could use in there. I thought that was really cool. So, so anyway, that is the kit. It's a 10 page kit. And it is in my shop. The, one of the newest things in my shop. And so check that out and you guys get a chance. Um, and also if you or anybody is interested in, in purchasing this blue ladies journal, ladies in the blue journal, jump on over there to my shop and it is available right now. So with that, I'm going to say bye for now. And thank you guys so much for all of my subscribers. Thank you for your comments. And if you like this video, you like, and you like to see more of these, give me a thumbs up and I will see you in the next video, which will probably be starting my Christmas journal. Okay. God bless you guys. And I will see you again soon. Okay. Bye.